PlayStation Portal. All your questions answered. Know everything about Sony's new handheld. In this video, we're going to answer all of your questions about the accessory, and we've included all of the most frequently asked questions about PS Portal, the new remote play handheld for PlayStation 5. Before we continue, I would like to ask for your like and subscription to the channel as this will help me a lot to create more videos for you. Thank you very much. PS Portal, or PlayStation Portal, is a remote play handheld for PS5 which allows you to play Sony's new gen console while your television is occupied, around your home, or potentially while you are outside. The device requires an internet connection in order to operate, and cannot be used independently like a Nintendo Switch. What is PS Portal's release date? PS Portal officially releases on Wednesday the 15th of November, 2023 in most territories around the world. You'll be able to purchase the handheld from Sony on its direct PlayStation website. How much does PS Portal cost? PS Portal has a manufacturer's suggested retail price of $199.99, $199 199 pounds and 99 pence in the United States and United Kingdom. How does PS Portal work? PS Portal is a remote play handheld which uses the internet to stream gameplay from your PS5 to its 8-inch screen. The same technology is then used to send any button presses you make back to your console, allowing you to play full PS5 games in a handheld format. Does PS Portal require a PS5? PS Portal requires a PS5 and can't be used without one. This is because any games you play on the device are rendered on the console and then streamed over the internet to the handheld. Can you play all PS5 games on PS Portal? PS Portal can play all PS5 games without restriction, with the exception of PSVR 2 required titles. This is because Sony's virtual reality headset needs to be worn at all times in order to enjoy PSVR 2 games. Does PS Portal play physical Blu-ray games? PS Portal can play physical Blu-ray games or digital downloads, assuming your PS5 has a disk drive. However, that you will need to physically insert the required disk into your PS5 if you're planning to play a physical game. Can you play different games on PS5 and PS Portal simultaneously? PS Portal uses remote play to stream gameplay from the PS5 to the handheld. This means you can't play different games on the PS5 at the same time as the PS Portal. Does PS Portal require a PS Plus subscription? PS Portal does not require a PS Plus subscription to work, although it's worth keeping in mind you won't be able to enjoy multiplayer games without an active membership. Can PS Portal stream PS Plus Premium games directly? PS Portal uses remote play to stream gameplay from the PS5 and can't stream games directly using PS Plus Premium. How do you charge PS Portal's battery? PS Portal's battery can be charged using a USB-C cable connected to the back of the handheld. You can connect the cable to the front of your PS5 for charging, or alternatively use any compatible USB charging hub. How long does PS Portal's battery last? While your mileage may vary due to a number of factors, after extensive testing we've clocked the PS Portal's battery life at a little over 4 hours per charge. Can you play PS Portal outside? PS Portal will technically work anywhere, as long as you have an internet connection. 
This is because remote play requires internet in order to stream gameplay to the device. It should be noted that the further you travel from your PS5, the more latency you'll introduce to the experience. What internet speed is recommended for PS Portal? PS Portal requires an internet connection of at least 5 megabits per second for an acceptable experience. Although 15 megabits per second or above is recommended by Sony for optimal use. What resolution is PS Portal's screen? PS Portal has an 8-inch LCD screen, which can display 1080p resolution at 60 frames per second. Games running in 4K will be downscaled to match the native resolution of the panel. Do you need a TV to play PS Portal? You don't need a TV to play PS Portal, as gameplay is streamed to the handheld using remote play. This means you can leave your TV turned off, or allow others to use it uninterrupted while you're gaming. Does PS Portal have haptic feedback and adaptive triggers? PS Portal is built using the same technology as the DualSense controller, meaning it has the same haptic feedback features and adaptive trigger functionality as the console's primary pad. Does the PS Portal get analog strict drift? PS Portal uses a smaller version of the analog sticks used in the DualSense controller. While careful use can help prolong the lifespan of these, they're unfortunately susceptible to stick drift like any other PS5 controller. Does PS Portal have a headphone port? PS Portal has a traditional 3.5mm headphone port located to the rear of the unit. Alternatively, it has built-in PS Link technology, allowing you to pair it with Sony's Pulse Explorer earbuds without needing to connect a USB dongle. Does PS Portal have Bluetooth? PS Portal has built-in PS Link technology, allowing it to connect to Sony's Pulse Explorer earbuds without requiring a separate USB dongle. However, it does not have Bluetooth, meaning you can't connect it to AirPods or traditional wireless headphones. Well, that's it for now. If you liked it, please don't forget to leave your like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.